Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into a LEGO Avatar set review. Today we are looking at set number 75573. This is the Floating Mountains Site 26 and RDA Samson. This is retailing for $99.99 USD or $129.99 Canadian beginning on October the 1st. Unlike some of the other sets, you cannot pre-order this, so you'll have to wait until then. But this was actually sent to me early by LEGO Slash Land to do a review for. Going into this wave of sets, this one was my favorite. Uh, I don't know what it was, just the lab build, the helicopter looked really great. And uh, I think I stand by that. I think that this is definitely really cool. It just, I hadn't built the soul tree yet, which you should definitely check out that review if you want to see that set. Uh, that one's definitely my favorite, but this is still really great. So let's jump into things and find out why it's so good. And here is the lab build. And, you know, it's easy to transport like you see in the movie. It's picked up and dropped off at different places. And you definitely see and sort of feel that here with just like the legs and sort of the stands holding up this little lab. I think that is really, really great. If I just tilt this up a bit, you could see the full thing there with the antenna. Um, very simple sort of build there. But I love the color scheme and everything that they've got going on here for this. Like just the dark gray for the trims and even the windows and everything. I think that this is really great. They got the whole shape of this, I think, down uh, really well. And even the outside here with all the yellow and everything like that, it's it's very, very perfect, I think, the design of this. And uh, over here, you've got like some, I don't know, different dials and, and, and levers and, and things like that for you to, I guess, adjust maybe the oxygen levels. I don't know what that could be here on the outside here too, another oxygen tank. But uh, there's a couple of ways to get inside. But first things first, you know, there is actually the little wheelchair ramp and it is wide enough to actually fit, uh, you know, Jake there with his wheelchair. So I think that's really great. And uh, you could, of course, open the door here. But unfortunately, he, he cannot fit through the door. Oh, he can. I'm wrong. That is perfectly designed. Wow. Uh, well, that was a surprise. I honestly, the, the width of that did not look like it was going to fit, but it does really well designed that. Oh my goodness. Um, but the whole top of the lab here completely pops off, but not just the top, the whole back wall there because you need to get access here to the lab since it is so small I, I think that's really great of course it should be a lot larger to fit other capsules but uh, you really you know it's a lego set otherwise this set's price would be so much more um but let's take a closer look at everything so starting over here this is like the pod and you could see there the camera actually showing a uh, sully on the inside there and what you could do is you take him and unfortunately i would have loved for one of the faces to have him actually having his eyes closed but you could see sort of the color inside i i would have gone with like the very very light uh green for like that sort of i don't know squishy material for lack of better words but you could take the figure here and put them on inside there and close it on up i think that that looks great you could see just the design of that and it's it's quite deep like he he's he's really in there um and uh I, again it's cool. I, I like that they, of course, included this, the whole build, I think is very important for you to sort of tell the story of the film. Uh, over here, you could see that they've got the computer actually scanning the different parts of his brain. And you've got a little swivel seat there uh, that you could put uh, either, I guess, Sully could get out of the wheelchair, but really it's for Grace. And you've got a little uh, like calculator piece there you used for like the buttons of the computer. But that's sort of it for the lab. I know it's very simple on the inside, but it gets the job done. And here is uh, the Hallelujah Mountains build, I guess, the, the part of Pandora for you to connect with other sets. Because if you didn't know, taking from uh, the Soul Tree set, you can actually go ahead and connect it just like that. And you could sort of angle it different ways. And uh, you could even bring it over here if you want to connect it to the other side there. It's really great. You can build this huge Pandora build, which we will be doing in a separate video. But today we're going to, of course, be looking at this. And it looks awesome. I love how you've got like this sort of vine going through there. Um, it doesn't really make sense since like, what is it wrapping around? But uh, anyways, it's still, it's great. I love the different flowers and everything that you've got going on there with even some of the vines there in the back and using this brand new piece introduced technically from Super Mario, but clearly it was designed for this. It allows you to actually connect these floating islands and have like all the roots and everything going down. I think that is really, really awesome. Before we show you something really cool up here, I just want to show you this actually because it can glow in the dark. 
So yeah, these pieces here, I love the build. Uh, these are used, I think those are used in different sets to represent like the seeds that float around throughout the whole uh, movie. But uh, yeah, I love the use of the superhero stand pieces there in this dark blue color. I think that's really cool. Um, and these pink dishes like to make these these uh, plants and flowers. I think that it is really beautiful. So what you actually do is you take the helicopter and you bring it on over and you can attach it just like that. And it will actually sort of float there and fly almost as if it's maybe landing on the island up there, the mountain up there. But uh, it's cool just to even have this sort of, you know, option to have your helicopter here um, able to be in motion or if you don't want to put it on the ground you could have it floating up here and flying I think is really cool and uh, yeah it, it only really works from that angle if I take it and go the other way here you'll see it just it doesn't really work I also feel like it might tip over um, but uh, yeah it's clearly meant to be going the other way so it can kind of sit there but this this is technically an option so here's the RDA Samson, the, the helicopter here. And it, it looks great. I love the design of this. Even how, like, you've got the two propellers there on both sides. But the angle that this is on, it's angled inwards. And I think that's just super unique. This is actually from towards the end of the film because it has the paint job there that, uh, of course, they ride into battle. Fun fact, when I was watching that, in case you've forgotten, uh, like me, it was years ago since I watched it for the first time, uh, the call sign for this and actually the character and piloting the helicopter was called Rogue One pre-Rogue One. But anyways, really awesome. Love the design and the shape of this. You know, this is very sort of military-esque, but it's also futuristic. So I feel like that's how Lego has gotten away with it. The design here, like even on the, the tail is just so great. I love that there with the one by eight tiles and how the back part here, it's on an angle, I think looks super, super incredible. Um, The front part here, the capsule, I guess the, fr the front hatch can actually be lifted open so that you can take a figure and put them inside here i was going to put them in the passenger seat which you can do as well but there's the pilot seat there you've got a passenger seat there in the back you can close it on up i okay i guess not i think she has to lean back so I think I was wrong. It's not actually a passenger seat. She has to lean back. Otherwise, this front part here will not actually work. Uh, so scratch that. Uh, but there is still spots here uh, for you to take the different figures. I want to try here and see if the wheelchair will fit as well. It, it sort of can if you put it here from the side. But uh, yeah, I guess that works. Sort of looking out. Um, not very safe. But they do actually show... Uh, one of the Navi figures, of course. Well, I guess it's not technically, but uh, yeah, it's a it's a tight squeeze. Is it possible? There you go. He's got to be looking down uh, almost uh, to jump out of the helicopter. It is possible, but uh, not ideal. You could, of course, have uh, him sitting, though, if you want. Will it work like that? Yep works like that uh but pretty tight squeeze there um however here on the front you do actually have two little stud shooters there to launch nice uh, let's see i've never had that happen let's see if this one goes okay there we go i have n i've never had any problems with this before that is really weird there we go perfectly that time do actually have a sticker there on the side of a tiger and it's also repeated here on the other side as well maybe you wanted to see the detail from the top there uh, that's what that looks like with all of those stickers. And then you've even got, uh, that's all printed there on the cockpit, by the way. Included also is the Dire Horse here. And it's very, very cool. This brand new mold that they've created here. It's really detailed. You've even got like some of like the gills almost there for it to breathe. And the detail here with the dual molding of the blue and uh, this like sand sky blue, I think looks great. Underneath there, you could see the feet can actually attach to four studs like uh, a regular two by two tile or brick and then in the back they're scattered there so i think that's really cool even though uh the feet are like in motion it's still able to attach like that anyways um what you do here if you didn't know the navi can actually attach uh, themselves and connect with the different creatures so you can take here jake and you can attach which you'll see up close in a second to the hairpiece 
um, using those pieces there. And I think that is a really cool feature for you to do across the different sets. Here is Dr. Grace Augustine, Sigourney Weaver's character in the first film, and it is really well done. I think they nailed the facial expression there and the face printing. The legs are actually Dr. Ellie Sattler's from Jurassic Park being reused here, which is completely fine. They're dual molded. Why not? They fit her really well. I love the torso printing with like the necklaces there and uh, just the detail on the shirt as well. The back torso printing is really great. Now with a couple of the humans, you could see here if I remove this hair here, you could see on the other side, she's got the mask there so that they can breathe outside. I think that looks really, really awesome because the air is toxic to them like look at that face i really love the almost maybe talking expression scared expression here's trudy shackon and she looks really great i love the new skin color here introduced in 2022 really really fitting torso printing doesn't really work like that's a darker skin color there i almost feel like they forgot that they were going to use this new color but regardless love the face printing there which by the way if you're a fast and furious fan that's two minifigures here now uh, from 2022 that you can uh, use for uh, your sets. But anyways, removing this here, you could see that uh, the face printing a little bit better. And on the back, she's got the face paint there from the end of the film, as well as a little microphone there to talk to everybody, as well as the back torso printing. is It's simple, but I love uh, the pants printing and the belt printing that carried over. Here is Jake's avatar, and this is actually exclusive to the set. I know, surprising, this is another exclusive version of him with the printing there on the face as well as the torso printing both of them exclusive to this really awesome um but other than that exact same i think the legs and everything are the same but uh getting a bow with him as well hair piece of course is the same removing it though you could see the back torso printing very very detailed i like how the strap continues there as well as the piece there used for the tail is actually what was introduced back from the looney tunes minifigure series which also just in case this isn't your first avatar review here on the channel i gotta mention this the woody legs are back the long legs from toy story way back when very weird to see them here and uh, they also created a new headpiece of course for the navi so i don't know wonder if minifigure heads would have been better here is norm spellman and uh, this is his avatar version i don't really think that he deserves a minifigure like the character does. I just think that not the Avatar version of him. I really would have loved to get Grace instead. I think it would have been more fitting since she plays a bigger role. But regardless, hopefully in another set. But I think the face looks great. I think they captured that and the, the torso printing and all that. Also the legs in dark tan. But uh, the back torso printing there, really great and detailed. If I remove that there, you could see how uh, the strap continues around. And of course, because they've got this headpiece, I didn't mention this before, but they can't have a second face print. The spear build, it's simple, but uh, it is used across the different sets as well for the different characters. Well, there you have it, everyone. That is my review of the Floating Mountain Site 26 and RDA Samson really great set uh, again going into it my favorite and i think it still holds up the builds here for the lab the helicopter of course pandora and uh, that's the reason i accepted these review offers was for the pandora builds and the minifigures in here you're getting i think are very great as well all of them exclusive to this set so far so i'd love to hear your thoughts so what do you think of the set be sure to subscribe turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on future lego avatar set news and reviews we already have a few reviews out if you want to check them out here in a playlist hope you guys did enjoy the video hope you all have a great day we'll see you all in the next one